Welcome to Web3 Investor Day. Excited to uh, yeah, exactly, have everyone here. Exactly. Thank you for joining. It's, it's uh, amazing to see a lot of familiar faces in the room, some new faces as well. Uh, many of you are leaders in our local Chicago Web3 ecosystem. It's great to uh, get our community together and talk about real adoption, real leaders, real places. And then some of you have traveled the world to join us. Thank you for taking those flights, uh, although delayed last night for some of you. Uh, yeah, some of you came from Tokyo, London, New York, LA, San Francisco, among the many cities represented here. Um, thank you. For those who don't know me, I'm Paul Su, CEO and founder of Decasonic. Decasonic is a Web3 native venture fund. We focus on the mainstream adoption of blockchain, Web3, and metaverse. Our, our thesis is that the trillion dollar opportunities are to come as you see adoption uh, cross over to the mainstream. This misdirection of crypto building for crypto is, is a little bit of a temporary situation. And so day in, day out, we work with founders, many in this room, uh, around how Web3 can impact the mainstream and scale beyond just crypto natives and really transform society. And uh, I'm Brian Walls. Um, I'm a managing partner at Bridge Alt Digital. We are, um, and I just want to echo Paul, like uh, this came together so fast and just being around the room this morning, it has such great energy. So welcome. Thank you for coming. I didn't come as far as Tokyo. I rode my bike here this morning. <laughs> but <laughs> but, but it's still, I still got here early. Um, so by background, Bridge Alt Digital is an institutional crypto fund of funds. We invest in funds. Uh, we've invested in uh, funds like Decasonic, uh, Multicoin, Polychain, 1KX, uh, really world-class groups. Um, you know, I, for me, um, I already had a career. You know, um, I, I was in financial services and it was successful for 30 years. Um, we had, um, I co-authored a book on investing. We had a global team, hosted conferences around the world and was kind of feeling like that was great. And then in 2017, um, saw the public ledger of Bitcoin and saw smart contracts on Ethereum and I felt like you could kind of eliminate 90% of financial services if we don't have to compare ledgers or enforce contracts. Um, and I really got excited and, and got involved. Um, and um, so that for me is kind of my beginning here, right? Um, the nice thing about Web3 conferences when I go is, you know, it's, you're surrounded, people are, they're smart, you know, um, but they're really collaborative and open and really ambitious. And when I say ambitious, I don't mean like um, status ambitious. I mean like, we're, there's always this energy like we're gonna change the world ambitious. And that big is- ambitions. Big, big ambitions. big ambitions, big ambitions, right, yeah. Um, and, and it's just nice, I, I, the, I, it, it's great to be part of it, right? It's a great new energy. Um, and I hope everybody here feels that energy, right? I hope you get on board with it and um, you know, in November, I, I went to the Solana conference, and I, I will tell you, um, in every session I was at, um, I, I was the oldest person there. Uh, <laughs> um, but nobody seemed to care. Nobody really cared. What people cared about in crypto was your ideas, your contribution, um, collaboration. That's what, what people really care about. <laughs> so Paul and I and the whole Decasonic team, Cami and Alejandro and everybody came together we had the support of Sterling Bay, with the support of World Business Chicago. We all came together, and this has been six weeks we put this together. I mean, it's really just a, an, an amazing effort. Um, you'll be hearing a lot from me during the day. I'm, I'm emceeing, I'm introducing people. Um, we have 33 really esteemed leaders. Um, their bios are on the website. If you go to the, and, and, and they're in the Twitter bio, please look up their full bios there. I'm gonna be making Quick introductions. I don't. There's not a lot of time for long bios. Um, Twitter handle is Web3 Investor Day. Thank you. 
And, um, you know, the last thing I'd say is like Paul, um, I've always felt like Metaverse, Web3, NFTs, DAOs are very abstract ideas. Um, this, we really wanted to focus on real leaders, real places, real adoption. Like, let's figure out how this connects and how, and how it changes everything. Well, when I met Brian, he and I bonded over his experience in uh, tech-enabled trading. I think we were talking about the days of client server that then migrated to high performance cloud. I've been in the innovation business for over 25 years on both sides of operating and investing. Big respect for the founders, the innovators out there who hustle hard. They put in that work every day, find that product market fit. It's not easy. It's a lot of frustration, a lot of failures. Um, they're optimists. To, to battle through those bear markets, you have to dream big and stay positive. Um, at the same time, I started my career in Silicon Valley on Sand Hill Road as a venture capitalist. I could also relate to the hard work that top VCs need to put in to assess valuation parameters, especially during these uncertain times, the bear markets, volatility, you know, uh, things are up in the air now, similar to 01 and 09 and other venture cycles that I had managed through. Those investors are realists. They, they have true skin in the game. They put money where their opinions are. And uh, it's, it's not easy being a realist sometimes. It, it veers into pessi pessimism, possibly. But you know, being a realist is how you will generate those returns. Um, our, our, our thinking in putting those two groups of people together uh, innovators and investors is to share that balanced perspective of optimism and realism. Um, uh, it, it's when you combine those two perspectives, when capital meets ideas, real innovation happens. I met Paul through uh, a multi-billion dollar asset management firm. Um, I'm personal friends with the chief investment officer. He was like, I got somebody you, got to want, you, you want to meet. And when I met them, we, we, we made an investment. Like Paul said, we have skin in the game. We, we invested in Decasonic. We've invested in, like I mentioned earlier, multi-coin, poly-chain, 1KX. We look for, you look for certain things, right, when you're making those investments. You look for domain expertise that can't be replicated easily. Everybody likes to see deals. Trust me, you need that domain expertise. You look for a, an unshakable conviction because when the markets get crazy, you don't want to turn to your fund manager. You want them to calm you down, right? So you need that unshakable conviction in how this technology is going to get deployed. And you really want clear, long-term investment ideas. You're not looking for the greatest little last-minute thing. Um, so, um, you know, working with Paul, I could really, you know, we've had this great experience of really talking about foundationally what applications are going to be interesting and when are we going to see real adoption. Unshakable conviction. I've been in blockchain since 2013. So why, why am I bullish as a venture investor? You know, we could be investing in quantum or AI or precision medicine, climate change. There's a lot of disruptive <laughs> lot of technology them. going on right now. Why Web3? You know, one, look around the room. The, the top talent is coming into our space. Um, so different than in prior cycles. My, colleague Alejandro, my colleague Cami, they, they could have taken jobs in any other field. They, they chose Web3. Talent is coming in. We're also very early, you know, early in adoption, early in market winners, both companies and venture funds. Um, and we're early in transforming society. You know, 300 million users today, less than 10% of global adoption, this is dot com back in 2000. Um, market winners shift with every cycle. You know, the, these reckless strategies don't persist. Very few investors and builders build for decades, you know, in, in our world. And, you know, I, I hope to share that perspective with you and with some of the panels. Jason and Yasmin are going to speak next about long-term perspectives. Uh, that really matters in creating durable protocols, durable projects, but also durable investment franchises. 
And then lastly, I think we're, we're in this market state of where are the use cases? <laughs> how, do we, how do we believe in the killer apps? What, what are the key bugs that are being fixed in uh, the infrastructure? That's for us to collaborate and, and go build. So uh, that gets me excited. We are living in this moment of time of a generational opportunity. Uh, I, I wish that we all come together and form the success in Chicago, in the US, and, and impact the world. Um, so our, our, our last piece here, before we get to the, 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 the real thought leaders, uh, what should you expect today? Quick run of show administratively. Uh, you should expect that this is a curated small conference, and, and feel free to talk to everyone. Uh, you know, we, we've put together broad and deep content uh, mainstream accessible for crypto curious and normies, <laughs> as we call in the industry, deeper insights for crypto natives and, and experts. Uh, you know, no, no question is dumb. The only dumb thing is not asking curious questions. <laughs> Innovation really happens when you combine uh, different aspects of expertise, different aspect, aspects of domain expertise. So, uh, everyone has domain expertise here. We, we, we know that that's when innovation happens. Uh, we have three hours of sessions, two hours of demos and, and uh, pitch workshops, another three hours of sessions. We're, we're covering the killer apps today of gaming, finance, entertainment, NFTs, art, metaverse, DAOs. Uh, we also have special topics on regulation. That, that's always a question that comes up. Um, and also a special session on crypto in Chicago, there, there's so much substance being built here, it even surprises a lot of the operators when, when I tell them, you know, we could walk down the street here in Fault Market, a neighborhood ground up built by Sterling Bay, and we could talk to trading firms, uh, builders, VCs, and, and other operators. Um, and then finally, Brian and I will recompose, come back here, and conclude the day with where is this all going? Yeah. Um, you know, we'll, we'll be asking the questions that we always want to ask ourselves. We leave you guys with questions and, and hopefully leave you guys with a, a follow up. Uh, thank you again for joining us. Great. Thanks, everybody. Uh, we're going to get our first panel going in a minute.